Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Kanye West's former chief of staff Milo Yiannopoulos has made a number of sharp allegations aimed at the rapper and his dentist, Thomas P. Connolly, in a legal affidavit. Yiannopoulos, 44, who quit working for West in May, said in the affidavit that he worked for the Grammy-winning artist, 47, between 2022 and 2024, as his chief of staff, in which his job duties consisted of solving mysteries and fixing problems where others have failed. Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit that in addition to West, he has also worked for Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene and a series of wealthy individuals in Florida, backing up what he claims is respectable track record exposing fraud, theft, and ill intent of every kind. Yiannopoulos said the affidavit was in tandem with a complaint he filed with the California Dental Board accusing Connolly of reckless, unethical, dishonest, explorative and, upon information and belief, illegal conduct. Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit that he was motivated by urgent concern for West's health and safety in both his own capacity of himself and on behalf of several individuals close to him. Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit that he went through the additional and unusual step of providing a sworn jurat affidavit, which he said comes under a penalty of perjury, and that all materials have been forwarded to the Attorney General's office and the FBI. Yiannopoulos said he is not in a position to authorize the release of West's medical records and wouldn't presume to do so without his consent, and did not explicitly name West in an immediate series of allegations he raised against Connolly in the affidavit. West was seen in a Reddit post three months ago with a mask on with the caption, Ye on Nitrous. Yiannopoulos said the affidavit pertains to actions of Connolly that includes the unlawful supply of enormous quantities of nitrous gas to a wealthy, famous patient for explicitly recreational use, as well as the physical transportation of four surgical size canisters by Connolly himself into the patient's home on just one afternoon. Yiannopoulos said that Connolly charged more than $50,000 per month for the service and continued to supply the gas along after the emergence of distressing symptoms that led to widespread comment and concern. Connolly provided instruction to the patient in the operation of nitrous gas canisters he left at the patient's home and unknowingly encouraged their use in the absence of a qualified anesthesia or medical professional by a person with history of mental illness and addiction, Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit. Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit that Connolly abandoned said patient to the self-destructive consequences of dependence, showing indifference or worse to the prospect of permanent damage and brain or body. Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit that based on what he knows and believes, Connolly was fraudulent in taking millions of dollars from a patient he knew to be in a confused, dependent, weakened and addicted state. Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit that Connolly moved into the patient's apartment building at the patient's own expense so as to better keep an eye on him. Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit that he had been promoted in January and saw that West's organization was $200 million in the red while taking in no income, and had placed the business into emergency measures by terminating more than 130 people in his first month. Yiannopoulos said that in February and March, he devised and deployed strict spending protocols, travel polices, limits on expenses and other financial controls to keep the books balanced better and located millions of dollars in wasted monies due to reasons ranging from fraud to greed to double billing to redundancies. Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit that it was in this capacity he crossed paths with Connolly, who was introduced to him as the dentist who assisted Yi in the design and installation of his much-admired titanium prosthodontics which DailyMail.com reported cost $850,000 this past January. Connolly is a celebrity dentist who both has famous clients and is also seeking notoriety for himself in his dental practice, which involves the implementation of diamonds on some occasions, Yiannopoulos said in the affidavit. He noted that Connolly was profiled in a January 2024 piece for the New York Times.